If you five gentlemen don't stop trembling, I might miss and kill you all. Enough, Mordred. Mm. You mustn't get carried away, my sweet. It shows lack of control. Why fire at Auntie Mab and Uncle Frick? I do hope that the boy is just having fun and it's nothing personal. Of course it's not personal. He likes you. I often wonder what he would do if he didn't like me. Stop fussing, Mother. Auntie Mab understands, don't you, Auntie Mab? Oh, of course I understand. You were testing yourself. Now come and sit by me. You know you're my favorite, Mordred. But you have to channel your aggression. Against Arthur? Yes, always Arthur and Merlin. You're looking pale, Mordred. You're not eating enough. I already have the strength of ten men. Listen to your aunt. And please do something about your hair. Very well, mother. There's a good boy. Auntie, you're looking extraordinarily pleased with yourself. What have you done? Is it terrible? Do tell. I'm sure it's perfect. I've made sure Elaine knows that Lancelot and Guinevere are lovers. <laughs> How absolutely delicious. Isn't that... Rather unworthy of us. Unworthy? Well, what does that mean, Mother? Oh, I've forgotten. What does it mean? Yes, it is unworthy. But I don't like to be told, Frick. Where are we going? To my land. The land of magic. Can I create monsters? No, if you wish. You're so good to me, Auntie. It won't all be fun and games. Arthur's coming back. Ah. There'll be things I have to teach you. Is Mother coming? No, we don't need her anymore. Mab, where are you taking my son? It's time. Without a word? Without a buy or leave? I have to make him ready. You're not taking him. He's my son. He's mine. I gave him love. You gave him toys. I gave him life. I'm never letting him go. <laughs> that was very clever, Auntie. Beyond words, my love. Am I? Oh, yes. Beyond words. You killed her! Perhaps she just slipped. In any case, what does it matter? You're holding us up, Frick. We have a lot to do. Mab, you evil old crone! May God have mercy on your soul! He obviously didn't have any on the rest of you! Why is everybody suddenly against me? Frick, I'm leaving you with your misery and pain. But with no more magic powers. 
Now you will wander through the world, ugly and alone, just as if you were human. Goodbye, Frick. I'll miss you. No, I won't. Why didn't you kill him, Auntie Mab? Because that's what he wanted me to do. Where's Merlin? Where's Lancelot? I'll tell you. Who the devil are you? Elegantly put. Who the devil? Yes, indeed. Who the devil? Well, don't you recognize me? No. Should I? Oh. I'm hurt. Here, in my heart. Not usually my most vulnerable spot. I recognize you, father. Father? I'm your long lost son, Mordred. No, how is that possible? What can I say? Is your mother? Not is, father. Was. She passed over into a better world. She sleeps alone at last. A great loss. One day she was laughing, smiling, the next, gone, like a summer's breeze, in the midst of life, etc., etc., and so on and so forth. It's why I'm here. I don't understand. To protect your interests, Father. You see, your interests are my interests. Whilst you were away on this great spiritual quest to cleanse your soul, how should I put it? You were being betrayed. Mordred! That's enough. It isn't. Well, come, Merlin, let's speak the truth at last. Father... This isn't the time! Father, Lancelot betrayed you with the Queen. What? Or should it be the Queen betrayed you with Lancelot? No, no matter. No point being pedantic. You were betrayed. Guinevere? This isn't the place to discuss this matter. Oh, I think it's the perfect place! Is it true? Father, you are just returned. We must talk calmly. Guinevere, is it true? Yes, it's true. Mordred, you have no right to be here. I have every right to be here. We all have. This isn't a private matter. It concerns us all. How could you do that to me? Didn't you think of me at all? You left me alone for years. Did you not think of me? What of my honor finding out my husband had had a child by a woman named Morgan Le Fay? Good one. Oh, come, Father. This is becoming distressingly personal. Well, you're forgetting it's a matter of state. Matter of state? But we are talking treason oh. here. Aren't we? My lords? I don't see it as treason. She betrayed me. And only me. That's enough. No, sire. Mordred is right. You are the king. That makes her adultery treason. But then we must condemn her to death. I really think we should do that. It's the law. It's harsh. It's meant to be. My lords, this is a time when we should temper justice with mercy. After all, your religion proclaims it. Let he who is not guilty of sin cast the first stone. Now, I know I have been guilty in my time, and I suspect that you have been too. I must confess, I have sinned a little. <laughs> so, we make excuses for her because she's a queen. Because she is human. No, because she is Arthur's wife. Are we going back to one law for the rulers and one for the ruled? Is that the way it is? Arthur? I thought Camelot was to be different. It is. Then show the world you mean it. Merlin, what should I do? In the end, you must uphold the law. Indeed. Guinevere will be tried for treason.
A splendid decision. Both fair and just, eh, Father? Now, let's drink and enjoy yeah. ourselves. I want you out of Camelot. But, Father, I've only just arrived. I thought we could reminisce about old times and play happy family. Stop him talking! You can't mean that, Father. I'm your beloved son, the Crown Prince, your one and only heir. I want you out of my sight. Embrace me, Father. Never! Or I'll take what's rightfully mine. God seize him! Take him away! Don't get up. I know my way out. I'm sorry, Father, but I'm going to destroy you. And this time your pet wizard won't save you. always left everything to the last moment. But then my memory of Lancelot is that he never got anything right. Thank God. And so Lancelot and Guinevere rode out of my story and into legend. What's the meaning of this? You tricked us, Father. You pretended to condemn the queen to the stake, then you had her rescued by your damned wizard. You hadn't even the courage to set her free yourself. That's true. I should have done it. One law for you and another for the rest of we us. We can't live like that! Do you hear? They can't live like that. I call upon all true-born Britons to rally to freedom's flag. Yeah. Depose them. <laughs> You caught me by surprise, Father. I know how that is. Nobles, the time for talking is over. Those who value right and justice follow me. Surprise! Stop talking, Mordred, and fight. I thought you might enjoy a little light conversation before you die. But, as you wish... <laughs> Mordred! <laughs> Clever boy! Father! 
So, Mordred. Hello. Father. It's time to end it all. Well, we agree on that at least. You know, Father, if you'd lived, I don't think we'd have been very happy as a family. What is it, Merlin? I heard a scream. I didn't hear anything. It's the sound of battle. Arthur and Mordred. No. It's nothing to do with us. Oh. Die, dear Auntie Mab. That's the last thing I shall do. <laughs> <laughs> 